We want to take a few minutes now to share some news that is difficult to report. After a brave battle with brain cancer, Kim Valencourt passed away peacefully late Saturday night with her family by her side. We take a look back now at her courageous and faith-filled journey. God's just been so good to us. Kim Eisenhower, a graduate of Tonawanda High School, married her love, Phil Valencourt, 20 years ago. They had two children, and as Kim was pregnant with their third child, they rescued three little girls from a troubled home. They've been through a lot. Just days after the adoption ceremony in December 2015, Kim was diagnosed with a rare and aggressive form of brain cancer, glioblastoma. She underwent emergency brain surgery, but bravely chose to put off chemo and radiation to protect the health of her unborn baby. Nobody wants to see a mother go through this. Doctors thought Kim would live only one year, and she faced that devastating news with faith, grace, and strength. Hoping for miracles, and we believe in that, so. Yeah. And Kim is tough, and she's not gonna don't give, up. give in and give up. Pray for mom and healing. Kim found her strength from God and also from her husband. Phil was her rock. He doesn't leave me. He's with me all the time. Amazing. Love you. Love you. They say support from their extended families and the community was overwhelming. It takes my breath away. Western New York embraced Kim in countless ways. Fundraisers, messages of support, donations, when all the family ever asked for was prayers. Her faith, strength, and love has inspired countless people in our community. And it's, it's heartwarming. Throughout it all, Kim never asked why and never lost her faith. I'm one in two places. I either get to stay with, with Phil and the kids and live a long life, um, or I get to be home, go home and be with Jesus. I'm, I'm okay. And Kim defied the odds. She was given five more years with her family, creating precious memories with Ryan, now 17 years old, 16-year-old Haley, 15-year-old Camila, 12-year-old Josie, 11-year-old Charlie, and the baby, Wyatt, who is now five and old enough to remember his mommy. Well, Mama, to read one to you. In November 2020, the cancer returned and grew rapidly. Kim chose to end further treatment and to cherish every remaining moment with her family. She hopes as they grow and look back on this journey, they always remember this. Just said I love him. I'd do anything for him, any single one of them. Kim Valencourt passed away Saturday. She was 41 years old. It has been the honor and privilege of my career to be entrusted by the Valencourts to share Kim's story. And what you see in all of those stories through the years is the real deal, the love, the faith and courage. Every time I spoke with Kim and asked, how are you? Even in the darkest of times, she'd respond, I'm great, no complaints. And no matter how tired Phil was, he'd be his typical goopy self and just laugh. They made me reflect and think about how can I be a better wife, a better mom, and appreciate every day as a gift. Yeah, and one thing you mentioned in that story, that the baby, is five and what a gift it is that he was able to have her long enough that he'll have lasting memories. It's just unbelievable. And the, you know, the you, the community coming together and, and basically embracing that family. Every time you did a story, the response was overwhelming. I've never seen anything like yeah. it. You know, not a week went by that I haven't received a message from one of you at home asking about Kim or how you can help. And that speaks to me about Kim's courage and how she inspired so many. And it truly shows why we can call Western New York the city of good neighbors. And we've got information, information posted right now on our website about how you can help, but really more than anything, as they've always done, 
all the family wants right now is prayers. We'll be right back.